Did you ever try and straighten like your rat stole's like hair? No. Oh, I did. Oh, you're so warm. No, no. You can stay. You can just sit right behind me. That would be great. That would be so good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god, I'm being attacked. Oh my goodness. Someone save me. Ew, your breath smells. Don't step on my face. That's nice. You're a bit annoying sometimes. Look at the size of Charlie compared to me. You're a big girl. I'm going to show you guys some of the white fox <laughs> I'm now covered in dog fur. Oops. Excuse me. That's not very ladylike. I actually just tried on the brown dress, which I'll show you with some boots. And I think I'm definitely going to wear that on the weekend because it is such a vibe. I'm just trying to find my little discount code. Everything will be in the description box down below as always, and I'll probably be wearing most of this stuff throughout the video anyway. But you can use the code CONNORXO and that'll save you some money off of White Fox. Like I mentioned before, and I'm sorry about the dog slobber and dog hair, I'm sorry White Fox. But I have been living in this hoodie and the next hoodie, so this is obviously just like such a good everyday neutral. I love that it doesn't have a drawstring. Hands up if you're a fan of the no drawstring hoodie, because I am. In my mind, they don't really have a purpose. I know that they're meant to just like cinch it in but I feel like they just, I don't use them, so they just kind of get in the way, and I don't know, I feel like it looks, don't you reckon it looks a bit nicer? But it just says White Fox Society on it, and then the back just looks like that. I love the big graphic text. And then I'm wearing the matching trackies, which are the same, and they just say White Fox on them, like so. I wear the hoodies in a medium slash large, and the trackies in a small. Same, same, but different. And I wanted to get a really bright, excuse me, matching hoodie and tracky set. So I picked up basically the same thing, but in a really bright green and it has the matching trackies, which are so comfy. These ones don't have a drawstring as well, but they do fit really fine. And they're not too long, which is nice because a lot of trackies on me are super long where I have to fold them up. But these are super cute and they just say white fox and it's just got a little blurb on there. And you would think wearing this together would just be like so much, but it works. I don't know. I just I love it. Do you want to go outside or not? No? Okay. So I'm pretty sure I have the top of this from a set that I got I think last year and I really like it so I thought I would just get it in white. So it just kind of twists in the middle like that. And this one's in a size small. It's really nice to pair with jeans. And it's kind of in that like ribbed, almost like real stretchy, quite thick material, which I really like. I also have this like high neck, really, really cropped, almost like a bra bottomed top, if that makes sense. This one's in a size small. And again, I just feel like with jeans or even like a really long black maxi skirt, this could look really cute. So yeah, it's just like an uber cropped crop with like that sweetheart almost like bra neckline and i just thought that was really cute especially in the summertime i definitely wear a lot of crops so this will be really good for that i feel like these are very on trend right now you know there's like really long almost like low-waisted skirts that are really on trend right now i wanted to pick one up because i feel like even with that white crop this could look really cute this is like a wide ribbed thick skirt it doesn't have a slit just like again a really nice basic to have and i'm excited to style this I didn't realize how many like white pieces I got. Okay, and then I want these pants in every single color. I have a few pants in my collection that are kind of like on this wavelength, but especially for summer and even right now, the like flowy linen pant I am all about because they're so comfy. You can pair them with just like button up shirts and it's my favorite like go-to look right now for just every day. These are in a size small and they're like the perfect amount of flow. They have them in like white, black, um, and I think a couple other colors as well and i just love them with crops they look super cute just really really comfy nice flowy pants okay and then this dress this is the one that i was talking about so this is an almost like a swim material it's a strapless mini dress like that it's in really pretty chocolate brown and it's got little slits on the sides and it has some boning as well this fits me so well and i imagine this with like high black boots maybe a leather jacket over the top and i feel like that would be such a vibe and i just think it's super super flattering on my shape i think this is just a really sexy but not too 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 much going out dress if you know what i mean so i love her i'm super excited to wear this on the weekend. I'm, I've pretty much decided that this is what I'm gonna wear. Can't wait for that. I've got a lot of brightly colored button-up shirts like this and I think I have one white one but this one has a twist. It's got this on the back. That just puts a really fun spin on a plain button-up shirt. 
boobs on a plain button up shirt. Super fun with like the cutout on the back. And this one's in a size small slash medium. And it's quite oversized, which is nice. Do you want to go out or not? These I'm obsessed with. They are like jeans, but not jeans. I'm not a huge fan of like white, white jeans, but I really like these because they're not necessarily like jeans. They're more of like a trouser. These are in a size small. I probably could even go with an extra small in these because they are pretty like wide leg, but I just think these are really fun. And I feel as though these are quite on trend at the moment. Those like baggy, like not parachute pants, but do you know what I mean? That look. So I love them. And then speaking of trends, I feel like this is such a big trend right now. The whole like, I don't even know what you would call this fabric. This type of fabric-y set moment. So this one is in a shorts and top set. So I got the black one. They had this in a few different colors, but I just got the black. The top is in a small slash medium and it's pretty darn oversized if you ask me. Like that's pretty big. So you definitely like don't need to size up if you want it oversized. You could definitely wear these separately anyway. And then these are the shorts. So super cute, nice and flowy. Oh, and they have a drawstring. Oh yes. The shorts are in a size small. They'd be like even a cute little just like beach short as well. Even with a pair of black boots, that would be a vibe. Okay, this was hanging on the line because I've already worn this like so many times to the gym. I love white fox tees for working out. So this one's in kind of like a slate gray color and it just says white fox leisure on it. I love how all their graphic tees are pretty much in white fox branding this isn't a medium slash large i don't think i own any t-shirts that actually fit me because i just like that oversized look so that is everything that i have to share with you guys i'll have everything wait there's a pair of sunglasses and they're in my car these are the sunnies and they're from their is it vu or vo brand they're very square and they have this like connection across the top there. I'm not sure how I feel. Do we like them? Because I have such a big face, sunglasses sometimes look funny on me if they're not the right shape, but I kind of like these. That is everything I have to share with you guys. Remember, you can use the code ConnorXO and that'll save you some coin. And thank you so much to White Fox for sponsoring this weekly vlog. Hello, this is Future Connor. I also quickly wanted to mention that White Fox also have White Fox Active and White Fox Swim, which you'll see me wearing some of their active bits in the workout clips in this video. Plus they also have Afterpay available for all US, Aussie and New Zealand customers. And they also have Express Worldwide Shipping, which is phenomenal. As someone who now knows the behind the scenes of shipping, Express Worldwide Shipping is top notch. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that. So now continuing on with the vlog. Wow, that lighting is just phenomenal. <laughs> I'm about to go into the gym. Gonna make this very quick because you can't see my face at the moment. Or maybe you can and I just can't see it on the viewfinder. But I'm about to head into the gym. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Gonna do some legs today. It is freezing though. I don't know what's happened. It's just gone, I think it's like 10 degrees right now. But I love it. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, that's much better. I feel like I'm really in the mood to vlog today and that's a rarity. No, I'm just kidding. But I just had last week off vlogging kind of and I feel like I'm ready to come back. By the way, my hair is not this sweaty. I slept in a whole heap of oil. Charlie's having a drink. So I need to wash that out because I'm getting my hair done on Friday and I just thought sleeping in a head of oil can't hurt, you know? Gym was pretty good. I kind of just did a bunch of random stuff. Um, you know when you're just in that mood? Christ on a bike. It is so cold today. It's windy and cold. Did I just get sent Tic Tacs? Huh? I'm so confused. Connor, we are so excited to introduce you to Urban Jungle. I don't know what this is. Sometimes things just come in the mail and I'm like, all right, fair enough. Oh, there's more. <gasps> wow. Whoa. This is the Melt Me Softly Cleansing Balm with Chamomile and Sunflower. Sunflower, yes. An exfoliating powder, which I love because they're so much more gentle than like the scrubs. A clay mask and then a hydrating gel serum. Oh, and a brush. Oh, it's like silicone, but it looks like bristles. Also, my nails are like nubs right now because I'm so upset. The nails that I bought for the like my glow up video and everything, they're not the same ones that I used to use like a couple years ago. Well, not even a couple years ago, like last year. And I need to get those ones again because those were so much stronger. The other ones just kept breaking. I know I have them long, but I've had them that long before and they've been fine. So I don't know what was up with that. So what's this thing about taking a mint then? I just want to open this. Today I need to have a productive day. I need to do a post office drop. I need to do some filming, some editing. Probably clean the house a bit. Just kick my butt into gear. A bit lazy yesterday. I think us girls are going out on the weekends. I feel like I haven't been out in so long and I'm ready to have a good time. 
I think my soul needs it. I'm 23 years old. I need to have a good time. We having a good time? <laughs> She's having a great old time just chewing on a bone. I'm probably gonna have a shower, wash this out of my hair. It's super oily, but it kind of feels really nice. And then I'm gonna get it to work. <laughs> Today is going really quickly. It's 12 o'clock already. Charlie, I'm sorry, but you cannot come. Did I run over a bucket? <laughs> I'm gonna load up the car with some orders and then go do that. Where is my early bird? I've misplaced my, my like tote bag because I like actually putting the orders in there, but. So she said, what's the problem, baby? Just a small load today. Also, we hit 8,000 subs subscribers. 8,000 followers on the early bird Instagram. So I'm gonna do a giveaway. So make sure you head over there so you know when I announce it and whatnot. Okay, Charles, you gotta go inside, Baba. I'll be back really soon. Does anyone else like feel super guilty when they leave their dog? I think she is a product of my working from homeness. Hey, she's actually pretty good though. She doesn't cry. This is the post office fit. Got on my white fox hoodie. And then these really nice flowy pants. I'm obsessed with these. I would wear the matching sweatpants for this, but they have dog slobber on them. So I have opted for these. Charlie. I don't know where Charlie's Kongs are either. She has two of them and they both seem to have vanished. Why does that look so creepy? This is the best flavor of diet, right? And it's literally never in stock. I'm obsessed with it. Can you come inside, please? Can't even see her. Can you please come inside? I'll give you some peanut butter. Can you sit, please? That's good. Yes. Sit. Down. <laughs> Slides down like that. You can't even see. I'll be back really soon. All right. Let's go, kids. I'm like at the end of my period and it's funny how much better my mood is today than it was like right before my period. Honestly, we don't get enough credit as women, what we go through. All right, let's go. I am currently obsessed with rice paper rolls. <laughs> And if you know me, you know I eat the same thing over and over and over again. I'm interested to see how long this obsession will last because pancakes and pizza have been going on for over a year now. We'll see. But I basically put a piece of like seaweed down, lettuce, some carrots. I really just put in kind of whatever I've got in the fridge. Capsicum, cucumber. I put ham in the other ones, but I'm going to put some black beans. Nice. And then I kind of just wrap them up like a burrito. Sometimes they fall apart, but you just kind of squish it all in there. And they're just like the perfect lunch. And I love dipping them in this tamari sauce, which is like a gluten-free soy sauce. Yay, they all worked out today. All right, and I've literally been having this for lunch or dinner every single day. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and I'm currently watching the Tokyo Olympics in weightlifting. <laughs> I'm watching all the different events from the Olympics at the moment. I don't know why, but it's very enjoyable. Charlie is like buried in the couch. I don't know if you can see her. Friday and I'm about to get my hair done. I'm so excited. This has been a, such a weird week. I swear there's something weird in the air. One day I'm feeling like super pumped and then the next I was like super flat. Like yesterday was a weird day, but I'm feeling good again because I'm getting my hair done. I always love bringing my laptop to the salon because I can get so much work done because you're forced to sit in the same spot for a, quite a few hours. So uh, my appointment is in two minutes and I really want to get a coffee beforehand. Let's rock and roll. And I really need to pee, but what's new?
up at like 5 a.m. and I thought, oh no, go back to sleep, Connor. I don't understand. My body clock is just wild. Anyway, this is my hair. We are on the road to blonde. It actually feels better than it felt first time I got it done, which is interesting. So I actually really like the color. I feel like it's a very like lived in goldeny blonde. Um, and I probably won't need to do like a whole heap to it tonight because it's held up pretty well. Although I think I'm gonna go to the gym this morning and that probably will mess it up a bit. Gym and then come home, have some breakfast. I can't wait. Gonna have a good time. Oh man. I also don't know what I wanna train today because I didn't go to the gym yesterday or Thursday. So what do we wanna do? We can either do an upper body or like hip thrusts and an intense session essentially. Hum, 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 hum. Legs, upper body. Oh, I have zero minutes left. Hang on. I actually really like the white box. I don't know what like style this is called, but it's their newer activewear line and they're very, very soft and like very nice on the booty. So I'm like, do we want to wear shorts or leggings? I think I might go with the shorts. Holy moly, it's cold. And it's that kind of fabric that you can like shove into your bum so it makes it look more flattering. And then I just fold it down a bit because I have a short torso. <sighs> It's cold, Charlie. Okay, I need to get some like clips that like on your hair because <laughs> the bobby pin, I look ridiculous. But I don't want to put a hat on because I don't want my hair to get like too sweaty. So this is what we're dealing with. Hopefully there's like no one in here because it's a Saturday morning, but I've been to the gym at like 12 p.m. in the middle of the day. So busy. Oh, there's my bobby pins. They're inside of my car, of course. I also need to decide what like pre-drinks to get. It's not going to be like a crazy night by any means. I haven't had a lot to drink probably since my birthday because <laughs> I was literally hungover for like four days. <laughs> Because I honestly, I don't drink that often. That took a while to get over. And then, yeah, I've been a bit of a boring, not boring, I shouldn't say that. I haven't gone out a whole heap lately. So I'm like, it's time to have a good time. You're allowed to. I don't know why, but I feel like, because I'm such an introvert naturally, sometimes I tell myself that I'm not allowed to drink or like have fun. Because I, I think, because what if you're hungover the next day? And I'm like, Connor, if you're hungover for one day, that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just need to be less strict on myself because I'm being strict on myself for kind of like no reason. I don't know. The first thing I do every time I get to the gym is go to the toilet. I pee so often because I'm constantly drinking water. Same thing when I like go to the hairdresser. First thing, hi, can I go to the toilet? Oh. Lisa's currently curling her hair and I think I'm gonna go with curls as well, but I'm gonna do my makeup first I think we're gonna get into the city like fairly early like 530 ish I feel like whenever you get ready you think you've got all the time in the world and all of a sudden got to get out the door Okay, I actually really like this combination of the flawless filter which reminds me of London It does because I got it and the Ciate London Brazilian glow bronzing serum when you mix them together. It's actually really nice Yuck. Mm. I got way too much hair, man. You do. Surprisingly from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Her dad's like bald. My grandma's gonna watch this video. Oh, <laughs> hi grandma. Okay. That makes me look very like bronzy. Oh my god. What? I was touching the brush and it like... <laughs> Did it burn it? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's just that. like steam. Did you ever try and straighten like your rat stole's like hair? No. Oh, I did and it obviously it like up. burned it straight away. Because it's synthetic. Because I'm stupid. Where's that a bit more? The Charlotte Tilbury. Oh yeah. You use airbrush flawless in the color six. 
I feel like because this foundation is a little bit more heavy, I'm going to spray my face first. Hi! Hi! Hi. Beverage. This is my second drink. Oh my god, I should have done that TikTok where it's like, hi, my name is Connor and this is my first drink. Um, I just did Elise's makeup and she's just gone to pick up our friend. And this is the makeup that I have done. I'm not like obsessed with it, but I don't want to like ruin it. For my hair, I don't think I'm gonna like curl it too much because I actually quite like the like loose waves at the moment, I think. I'm just gonna put a little bit of dry shampoo. I might curl like the top layer and just do some like long ones and then do my little swooshy fringe. Yeah, I can't say no when I'm this free. Don't want to go home or I can't sleep. Weather's so nice, only got good vibes. Yeah, we're here chilling, chilling in paradise. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me. Good I'm afternoon. Be Happy Sunday. It was a really fun night. We met up with Beck. Felons is where we went um, at the start. And it's always so busy. It's probably spent like 40 minutes trying to find a table because it's just hectic. So I'm a little bit hungover today. Not too bad, but I've pretty much just been like chilling all day. Haven't been very productive. But I also spilt my drink. Like someone bumped me and my drink just went all down the front of my dress. And you couldn't really see it, but I could feel it because it was wet. It was not a good time. So we kind of went home after that. I mentioned in my last weekly vlog how I was getting ready to go on a date and a lot of you guys have asked me how it went and stuff like that i don't think i'm going to share like details of my like dating life on youtube but i would like to kind of talk about it at the same time without revealing anything just because obviously it's like i want to respect the privacy of the other person and stuff like that but i think i have like realized through my experience in dating at the moment that i am extremely guarded very guarded being guarded is not necessarily a bad thing it also just reflects that i do have very high standards which is good but i think there is a difference sometimes between having like high standards and just being so guarded and that you almost like self-sabotage i think that just comes along with dating as well and i think too because a lot of my friends are in relation like long-term relationships with their like first partner like first boyfriend or first girlfriend it feels like i am like behind on that because i feel like i date different people and i'm like can I have that? I don't know. And it almost feels like you're the odd one out, even though I know it's like totally normal. I think sometimes you just feel a little bit more lonely and you go through phases of just being like, oh, I'd really love a partner. But then again, it will surpass and I'm like, heck yeah, I love being single, which I do and I think it's very important. But I'm just kind of, I think I'm feeling a bit frustrated at the moment. I'm such a like proactive person when it comes to the things that I want. But when it comes to this, you can be proactive to a certain degree, but it also just happens when it happens of course. I think I'm just like a bit frustrated and a bit lonely today. But I also think that's a result of just like coming down from having alcohol because alcohol is a depressant. And I also have like a love-hate relationship with dating apps. Like I'll delete them all and then I'll like download them again. But I'm pretty sure everyone's like that. I'm just a little bit impatient. <laughs> Anyway, not to be a bit of a Debbie Downer. Oh my lord, lord. Why are you parking right next to me? There's like three million parks, my guy. Anyway, I'm gonna hop into the hop into the supermarket. Pop in. I don't need a whole heap of stuff, but I just wanna semi prepared for the week because I, I don't wanna like just do absolutely nothing today. I really should edit the weekly vlog and I have a little bit of work that I should do, but I just don't think I'm in any condition to do that. I know I said I'm feeling okay, but like I'm still hungover, so I'm like gonna let myself relax.
vlog here. I'm just sat on the couch doing some editing. I've also just had the realization it is going to be the 1st of September on Thursday, which also means that it's going to be spring. And the weather already feels like it's slowly warming up like in the middle of the day i know i'm gonna jump right now but it is just wild how fast this year has gone i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i actually really liked editing it and it was super fun and it is a reminder to myself to kind of have fun more often and it definitely doesn't mean i have to be going out but just like doing things i'm such a like activity person like i lack more like solo dates and like take myself to the beach and just kind of get out of the house and just do things just because it is so beneficial for my mental health and I know this it's just sometimes you kind of forget and you get in the habit of just you know working gym and like having the same routine without having those like little special things to like look forward to but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world the birdies and I'll see you in my next one bye